Hey, what's up, classic TV and movie fans? My name is Rick9G. We're going to be talking about the Munsters remake movie that is going to be done by Rob Zombie and the shocking news of the actual rating of this movie. What's it going to be rated? G, PG, PG-13, R, or even worse than that. Now, I have to make this video and give my thoughts and impressions because many people were saying this. They were saying that hey, I'm not going to watch this movie because um, it's going to be a Rob Zombie movie and it's going to be bloody, gory. It's going to be something that I don't want to associate with the Munsters. And I, I understand that. I wouldn't want that in a Munsters movie as well. I have no reason um, to back this movie or to go against the movie. I'm very neutral in this. I'm just interested because it is like a Munsters honoring, right? Or a Munsters honoring uh film piece and Rob Zombie's a really big fan and I wanted to just tell you what the rating is it's going to shock a lot of you and I'm going to tell you the implications for that what we what that will confirm and what it will not confirm um, again I'm doing this video on the fly I just want to tell you my true thoughts and feelings as this news is coming out because pretty much this came out uh, 10 minutes or so before I'm recording this so according to Rob Zombie himself he posted this image the Munsters is going to be rated PG. PG, you heard that right. Not PG-13, not R, as some people were guessing. Not PG-13, not R, but PG. Why? What's included? It's going to be the macabre, suggestive material, scary images, and language. That's the actual wording that is used. Macabre, I mean, that is... In the old original Addams Family in the 60s, it was macabre, right? Suggestive material, hey, that was also present in the Addams Family. It was also not really present in the Munsters, um, but here and there. But again, this is 2022. This is the year we're in. Scary images, I mean, that sounds like something for a little kid, and I don't mean that offensively. I mean, I mean, PG, like, this is going to be something that like a 10 year old can watch without fear of too much blood too much gore too much sex there won't be that there won't be gore uh, there may be blood here and there but it's going to be very mild and sex nothing like that extremely strong and i am taking my hat off to rob zombie for making that big decision um going r could have taken him one direction um going g could have been another direction but i think g my hat's off to him. That's mad respect. Now you may think, what does that even mean? I'm going to name a few popular movies that are rated PG because PG-13 could be even strong. Like there's some really suggestive things in PG-13 material. This is less than that. So Home Alone, the original Home Alone was PG. I mean, Hocus Pocus, right? 1993. Hook, right? With Dustin Hoffman as Captain Hook. Jumanji. I mean, I'm just reading off all these movies, um, I mean, it's it's pretty incredible. I'm kind of at a loss for words, but in a good way. This, to me, is good news. This is very good news. I mean, Shrek, for example. I mean, this is news for me. Young Frankenstein was PG. I mean, 1974. If, if you could watch Young Frankenstein and you thought that was something that most people could watch, this will be similar. So I'm very happy about that. I mean, The Incredibles, the Disney animated 2004 film was PG, like literally a very sane cartoon that like five-year-olds, 10-year-olds can watch. So I'm very happy about that. I want to know your thoughts down below. And I really love Rob Zombie's um, caption for the image. He said, for those of you speculating, wondering, and assuming that the monsters would be dirty, violent, and nasty, well, you are wrong. And he put like a skull and a thumbs up. It's all good down on Mockingbird Lane, and he put rated PG. Again, I'm very excited for this. What do you think? Does this bode well for you? Also, I have to also talk about the image behind. He made it like this. He made it like this, like a black and white, almost like a blue tone. You can see Grandpa Monster on the left. You can see Lily in the middle. Everyone's in character. Everyone's dressed up. You can see Herman on, on kind of the right side. Um, he's doing, you know, his unique face. Lily is grabbing onto his arm. You see Grandpa right next to him. It all works. You only see three of them. You don't see any Marilyn. You don't see um, Eddie. But if you look, I'll point you down here. There are lifts on Herman. So he's going to be huge, which is what he should have been. I mean, he had lifts in the original. So again, I want to know your thoughts down below. I'm really excited about this. What do you think? Rated PG confirmed for Rob Zombie's Monster movie. We'll see you next time with the updates. 
very happy making these. I'm very happy that all of you are enjoying them. Don't forget, be hopeful. Thank you to everyone for the support, especially my diamond tier patrons. Citizen Kane 359, David D, Greg S, Kevin K, Ricky, Sally N, Ulysses the P, and Vito L. If you want to join the Patreon family, links are in the description. Thank you.